Hi, today in this tutorial I will guide you through the process of creating a curtain and making animation with wind. Let's start first by creating a plane uh, 500 by 500 centimeters to uh, simulate the floor. Let's center it in the middle of the scene. Now let's copy uh, this plane to make the curtain plane and let's put some dimensions for example a width of 260 centimeters and a bit higher 280 centimeters high now let's position it uh, close above the floor let's leave some space for the curtain to drop now let's uh, make the uh, segments of the curtain to a square like uh, 80 by 70 looks okay now let's create the corniche this box will serve uh, like this we we'll made it uh, 30 by 30 by 300 centimeters and position it in the center of the scene Now let's make some subdivision to see how it looks in the scene. I think that we are ready for the simulation. So what we do now is uh, use the quote modifier. In the object properties, let's add the other two objects, the box and the plane that will serve as a collision object. And the plane will use some heavy leather preset because we want the uh, curtain to, to feel more heavy and realistic. Now let's make the folds. We go into the group uh, under category of the quote modifier and select some vertices uh, that will, we will attach to the cornice to make the folds. We leave some vertices between the selections To make it more realistic looking. Okay, now we are ready with the selection. Now that we have selected all the vertices, uh, let's press make a group and attach this group to the cornish. So these vertices will stay and the other ones will make the folds. Let's make the self collision to one and the uh, uh, heaviness of the quote simulation a bit heavier. Now let's add some more frames to the simulation so uh, there is enough time for all the frames and animation to be simulated. When we are ready, press simulate. Okay, as we see, we have uh, some problems here. First, the quota is uh, heavier, so we can erase the simulation and make the centimeters per unit 
a bit less. Now what we also forgot is to animate the folding of the uh, curtain. This we can do by animating the cornish to be scaled uh, 60% around. Okay, now we are ready. Press simulate again and let's see how it looks. Okay, now once the simulation is ready, let's look uh, and see what we have here. It looks very nice and realistic, all the folds and how the curtain falls on the floor. We can scroll back the timeline and... Uh, choose different options for the curtain so we can have a variety of different curtains that we can use in our scenes with only one curtain okay once we are satisfied with the look of the curtain and we can adjust it a bit by adding uh, edit poly modifier on top and collapsing the simulation now we can adjust the top part of the curtain to be more realistic if it's like if it's on a rail select the edges and scale them to be flat and by the use of soft selection we can uh, make the top part more nice okay now that we have uh, prepared the curtain let's move on to the next part again let's clear clear first the old modifier from the other two uh, objects and let's add a new quote modifier on top of the curtain we once again add the other two objects as uh, collision objects and for our curtain now we will use the cotton preset as it will be uh, better suited for this wind simulation now again let's go to the group uh, under category and now let's select all the uh, vertices of in the top part of the curtain and add them to the cornish Now let's go to forces and create a wind force. In the front view, drag and drop the wind force. Now let's adjust it to the direction that the wind will be blowing and make some adjustments to the uh, force for for strength and that some turbulence and frequency to the wind parameters now what we will do is uh, animate the strength of the wind in a positive and a negative uh, direction this way we will simulate the uh, the wind blowing forwards and backwards and the curtain will be moving very nice
once we have uh, adjusted uh, along the timeline all the keyframes with the strength now we can add the code force to the simulation press code code force and uh, adjust the wind force into the simulation now what we have to do is press the simulate button again and see if the adjusted keys will do uh, what they are intended to do or we have to make some adjustments to it As we see, the, the wind is blowing uh, too fast and too frequent. So what we have to do is adjust the keyframes, reduce them and uh, reduce the strength of the wind blowing and make the simulation once more. Now the simulation looks much nicer, a subtle uh, movement of the curtain, it's like uh, a soft breeze coming out from the window, blowing the curtain. Now what we can do is record this animation from the modifier list, drop down menu, we select the point cache and press the new button find the location where we will save the cache and choose .pc2 now press save 
and record the animation. Once it's done, we don't need anymore the quote modifier as the animation is stored in the point cache modifier now. Uh, this curtain is free from the animation and we can use this curtain in other files by using this point cache. Let's show you how. Now let's copy this curtain to another file and check out how we can use this point cache. Let's paste it uh, in this file that I have prepared, a small bedroom. Ok, let's adjust the scale and the position of the curtain. Now let's position the pivot so that we can scale it a bit to look appropriate in the scene. and add some material and UV to the curtain. As you see, there is no animation now. So let's add now this point cache modifier and vault the cache of the animation. As you can see, the, the curtain now is animated and it's blowing to the wind. Now we need to adjust a bit this curtain so that it looks adequate in the scene. Let's scale it a bit with the Y position and now let's position it in the middle of the window and let's play the animation. Now it looks great. If you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.